I thank you for joining me today as we reflect together from the Open Heavens Daily Guide written by Pastor E.A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Patrick Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. The topic we are looking at today is Light of the World. And the Bible passage is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 5. We are reading from verse 14 to 16. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on high cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 14. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. And there are two major types of light, the physical and the spiritual. The sun is the main physical light of the world, while the Lord Jesus Christ is the spiritual light of the world. Jesus himself said in many instances, that he is the light of the world. John 8, 12 says, Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. As the light of the world, Jesus exposes the spiritual darkness of sin and gives sight to those who are spiritually blind. There are so many people in our world today who are in deep darkness of immorality, drunkenness, addiction, occultism, and oppression. They really need the light of Jesus to set them free. Light is far more powerful than darkness. And when the light shines, the Bible says darkness cannot fight or comprehend it. That's why John in chapter 1 verse 5 says... And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. When we allow Jesus to shine in our lives, whatever darkness we have in us, we have no choice but to give way to the light of God. However, let us take note that there are categories of light. For example, there are physical lights of sun, moon, and stars. Not all lights have the ability so I shine darkness. Genesis 1.16 says, Then God made two great lights, the greater lights to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. And he made stars also. Sun rules over the day because it is far brighter than the moon. If the moon has to replace the sun during the day, there will be darkness during a period that there should be daytime. So this advises us that what determines the result of a situation is the amount of light that it is exposed to. God's word is the spiritual light of the world. And the volume of this light you are exposed to will determine the degree of change you can experience and bring into your world. Consequently, the intensity and the size of God's light in you will determine your sphere of influence. If you want to be victorious over the forces of darkness, be daily exposed to more light from God's word. Our prayer point, we pray, we say, Father, please fill me with your light and let me shine across the whole world in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you and God bless you.